Coccidiosis in pigeons. Coccidiosis is highly infectious and quite a common illness that infects the intestines of birds. It usually exists to some degree in all pigeons, but most adult birds produce sufficient immunity to the disease to continue to be healthy. Symptoms. Signs of a coccidiosis infection in pigeons include loss of appetite and weight loss. Birds sit puffed up on perches with a lack of energy or motivation. Droppings are usually extremely loose, greenish in color, and may turn very watery. Death can occur in young birds. Coccidiosis droppings. Green droppings. Young pigeons are most typically infected, or birds that have been subjected to severe stress, i.e. racing, exhibiting, lack of food and water, or relocation. Adult birds may become contaminated from consuming unclean water or from coming into contact with moist droppings. What are coccidiosis? Any species of bird can be susceptible to the coccidian parasite, which can be found worldwide. Most species of coccidia have a direct life cycle. Non-infective oocysts, or eggs, are passed in the feces of infected birds into the environment. Here, they develop into an infective form, or a sporulated oocyst. A healthy bird can ingest this form from contaminated feed or water. The infective oocysts then invade the intestines of the bird, where they undergo several more stages of development until they become sexually mature parasites. These parasites then lay eggs, which are passed out with the feces. This life cycle is generally completed in a span of one to two weeks. Coccidiosis, also referred to as intestinal coccidiosis or coccidiasis, is caused by the protozoan parasite in the Imeridae family. While poultry, game birds, pigeons, and doves are most commonly affected, coccidia eggs have been found occasionally in parrots, canaries, finches, lorries, and budgerigars. This parasite usually invades part or all of the intestinal tract in birds, but has been found in other organs, such as the kidneys and liver. Symptoms of coccidiosis in birds. Symptoms of coccidiosis mainly involve the digestive system. As the coccidia replicate, the tissue damage that results can cause disruptions in normal digestive and absorption processes, as well as feeding habits. Rapid weight loss can occur, which can lead to severely ill birds that may become susceptible to other diseases and infections. Birds can also be infected without any visible symptoms. Signs can include Severe diarrhea that can be watery, bloody, or contain greenish mucus. Depression. Droopiness. Inactivity. Loss of appetite. Weight loss. Decreased thirst. Decreased growth rate in young birds. Decreased egg production. Ruffled feathers. Depigmentation or pale skin. Secondary infection from another infectious agent. Tremors. Convulsions. Lameness. Emaciation. Dehydration. Death. Types. There are two types of coccidiosis seen in birds. Coccidiosis refers to a parasitic infection that produces visible symptoms. Coccidiasis refers to an infection that is present without any symptoms. It is the most common form and is often diagnosed on post-mortem. Causes of coccidiosis in birds. Coccidiosis in birds is caused by an infection of the coccidia parasite. The coccidia oocysts are transmitted from bird to bird by ingestion of contaminated matter. This can occur from infected droppings, contaminated food or water, contaminated soil, dust, or litter, exposure to contaminated insects or animals, contamination through carriers, such as human handlers, equipment, or clothing. Both infected and recovering birds can shed oocysts in their droppings, even if they present no visible symptoms of an infection. The oocyst has a hard shell that allows it to survive in the environment for a long time, although they are not infective until they sporulate. This development into an infective stage generally takes one to two days after they are passed from the feces into the environment. Treatment of coccidiosis in birds. The treatment of coccidiosis will include drug administration to kill the parasites and oocysts, and measures to control transmission and reinfection. Drug administration. All links to buy these will be in comments. There are a range of anticoccidial drugs that can treat a coccidian invasion in many ways. Amprolium, Corid, Ampril, an excellent drug of choice for coccidiosis. Must be used for 3 to 5 days to be effective. Avoid using vitamins while treating, but use them for 1 to 2 days after treatment is finished. Dose, 1 teaspoon, 20% powder, per gallon. Harker's All-in-One is very good. All products are in the pine comments. Environment. 
while pet and captive birds can be treated, the infection is usually not eliminated and is only controlled. Measures need to be taken to prevent transmission of this parasite to other birds. While the oocysts are resistant to some disinfectants, they can be killed by extreme hot or cold temperatures. Birds can still shed oocysts after treatment and should be separated from healthy birds to reduce transmission. Cages should be cleaned and disinfected daily to remove any oocysts from your bird's environment. If you have many birds in your population, separating them, or dispersing them over a larger area can help to reduce the risk of spreading the parasite. Recovery of coccidiosis in birds. Your bird may develop an immunity to the coccidia parasite and can recover, though it may become reinfected. A severe infection can lead to a quick fatality. If your bird has survived a severe infection, recovery can occur within two weeks of treatment, but may result in permanent damage. Prevent this possibly fatal infection through good sanitation and environmental conditions. These can include adding anticoccidial drugs to feed during the first weeks of your bird's life, avoiding overcrowding your birds, providing good sanitation, ensuring there is always clean water and feed available, separating birds from droppings, administering vaccines, routinely cleaning cages or the aviary, frequently check droppings for oocysts, quarantining new birds until deemed healthy.